Hey everybody, it's Rab here from the DC Database and Comic Book Showcase, and I'm recording from my uh, pitiful comic book corner, and today I want to do something a little bit different for you. Basically, what we're going to do is a series of reviews, one-off reviews, of the comic books and graphic novels that we thought might be interesting to you, and it's called I Just Read. So... We're going to take a look at books we just read and talk about them. There's no schedule for it. It's not going to be a weekly thing. It's just whenever we have read something that inspires us to talk about it, there it'll be. It's not going to replace the old, the regular episodes that you're used to. It's just us uh, diversifying our programming a bit. So anyway, to kick us off, I've just read Catwoman 36 by uh, Genevieve Valentine, Gary Brown, and colors by Lee Lowridge. Really, I should be doing this with Catwoman 35, but I happen to have 36 on hand, so... 36. I think what really strikes me about uh, the, these two last issues, Catwoman 35 and 36, is that it's so different from the previous team's uh, incarnation, like prior to, uh, it's, and it's really doing something that's never really been done with the character before. So if you haven't been keeping up with Batman Eternal, there's going to be some spoilers here, but what we learned recently was that Catwoman Selina Kyle that we know is not really Selina Kyle. She's actually Selina Calabrese, the, uh, <laughs> I'm amused by my rolling of my R there. But um, she's the daughter of a major crime boss who has sort of lost his role. He's ended up in Blackgate Penitentiary, and events in Batman Eternal have led her to decide to give up the costume of Catwoman and become, take on the family business, I guess you could say. And even if she's not being Catwoman per se, she is still sort of, using the role of a crime boss to do good for Gotham City, which is sort of, uh, it keeps true to the character, I think, of doing a little bad to get some good done. And that's a big change, because previously, uh, Anne Nascenti's version of the character was sort of bright and colorful, even fantastical, which, in my opinion, was maybe not as, it, it didn't feel right to me, for, for the character of Catwoman. And now this interpretation allows them to do something a little more gritty, more realistic, and dark, I guess. I, I know people often complain about the grim and gritty uh, atmosphere of DC Comics, especially the Batman corner of things. And But I think in this case, it's kind of refreshing to get that back. So these last two issues have been packed with story. It's mature storytelling. It's a gritty crime drama, as I said. And it really reminds me of Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale's The Long Halloween and Dark Victory, which were both uh, gritty crime dramas about the history, I guess, of Gotham's organized crime families and their interactions with Batman. But it's got this fresh twist because a woman is in charge and that woman maybe isn't so happy about the kind of things she has to do in order to keep control of a crime family. So I think I've said plenty already. I mean, it's not supposed to be a very long video. Uh, but just to wrap up, I think... If you're, if you're looking for a jumping on point for Catwoman, maybe you dropped off because you weren't loving it before. Maybe you're, you're just looking to get into the character. I think issue 35 is a good place to start. And obviously issue 36 picks up right where 35 left off and it builds the story and things are going pretty interesting places, I think. So check those out. And if you have any comments about this format or... Uh, the issue, of course, the story. Uh, please let us know in the comments. And if you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe.